Really nice, really. Okay. Um, hello, my name is Tom. I'm from Seaside Aquatics. Today, I'm going to show you how to install the Korea pump or any other pumps out there in the market. Um, if you're going to install the pump above the water, so this pump is sitting above the water. So if you're going to install it, you need to have a check valve. Without a check valve, the pump will not work. So for example, this pump is set up with no check valve. You see it? Now we're going to put the pump in here. And now we're going to plug it in and fire the pump. Okay, the pump powering up. It goes. You can, you can hear the motor running. It running right now, but no water. Because the pump is trying to prime the water in and it's too weak to do that. The water cannot go up. The pump is running. You can hear the sound, but no water. It doesn't mean that the pump is not working. It's that you need to have a check valve. So what we're going to do is I'm going to turn it off. Okay, I'm gonna turn it off. And this is a check valve. Okay, I'm gonna install a check valve. Right now, I'm gonna put it in here, okay? I'm gonna put the check valve down under water. Okay? And I also gonna I also gonna put the water into the line. So that there's water in the line. Okay, we're gonna do it, we're gonna put water in here. Fill it up with water. Okay, now the water is in the line. Okay. Now I'm going to put the pump right back, okay? The pump is starting. Look at that. Magic. What happened? The pump is working. Right? You see the water coming out? Because you need to install the check valve. Without the check valve, the pump will not work. Not this, not, not this pump, but any other pumps out there in the market, without the check valve, it will not work. So I'm going to try it off. Okay, same scenario. I'm gonna do is this check valve, you see it? The water is in this line. The check valve prevents the water from coming down. So you need to have the check valve installed inside the pond. Otherwise the pump would not work. Thank you for watching. I'm like that.